Hi guys, I'm Jordan, director and coach here at Retrain Search, and I'm here to talk you through the most common client objections that you'll face when pitching Retain Search, and tell you how to handle them. We'll be regularly posting content like this, so make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button. One of the most common client objections we get is a customer saying, we don't like to work with one agency. We like to work with several agencies, get good coverage of the market, and make sure we don't miss out on anybody. Here's how I'd go about handling that objection. I would say, I completely understand. It's easy to think, and it's quite common to think, that by working with multiple agencies, you get more effort. Often, customers think that they work with 10 agencies, they get 10 times the effort, 10 times the CVs, 10 times the interviews, and therefore, they're 10 times more likely to find the perfect candidate. However, it's actually often the complete opposite that happens. Would you mind if I explain why and how? As recruiters, when we work on a contingent or subject to chance basis, we typically work with between five and 15 clients and on 15 jobs at any given time. That's not just us, that's all recruiters. We have to do that because essentially we're working for free. We have to spread that risk. We have to work on multiple roles to make sure we get a fee from somewhere. The problem with that is we then rank these jobs in terms of the most fillable, from most fillable at the top to the least fillable at the bottom. If a role is easy to fill because it's a relatively straightforward skill set, there's a deep talent pool, it's in a great location with a brilliant employer brand, it comes higher up that list. The problem comes when the role is for any reason more challenging. That can be a niche skill set, a tough location, it's confidential, it's critical, there's multiple hires. In that instance, the role falls further down that list because we're less likely to fill it. Heaven forbid we're working in competition with other agencies, it falls even further down the list because again, we're even less likely to fill it when we've got competition. So again, I really understand why you might think that by working with multiple agencies, you're more likely to fill that role. You're multiplying the effort. However often, and what normally happens is, you actually dilute the effort of every single recruiter that's working on that position. Then when you take into consideration that with limited time to risk, we've gotta be fast, really fast in filling the role, we typically approach the 30% of the talent pool that are active, candidates that are actively looking for work, and therefore will quickly respond to LinkedIn messages, to emails, and answer phone calls. The problem is any talent pool is like an iceberg in that 30% of the active candidates are above the water. But the biggest chunk, 70% of the talent pool, is below the water. The 70% the below the water, they're the candidates that are passive. They're happy in their jobs, they're not actively looking, and therefore they're harder to reach. So when we work on a subject to chance basis, contingently, in competition with other agencies, we all approach the same 30%. The first problem with that is we miss a big chunk of the talent pool. You can't be sure the person you're recruiting is the best available to you in the market at that time. The other problem that comes when we do that is it dilutes your brand in the market. Think about how that looks when 10 agencies approach the same candidate with the same opportunity. You end up looking like a house for sale with 10 for sale signs outside. I drive past that house and think, I'm not buying that one, what's up with that house? So again, I understand why you think that by working with multiple agencies, you're in a much better position to fill the role. However, this is the way you're gonna solve that problem, not by working with lots of agencies. Whether it's me or whether it's somebody else that you do that with, this is the way to fix the problem. Of course, I would love to be the person to do that. I hope that helped, I really do. For tips on how we handle many more client objections, Join our free webinar coming up soon. I've put the link in the description. Be sure to join us and bring along your questions for a live Q&A at the end. Really looking forward to seeing you there. Or if you want to chat directly with me, click the link to my calendar below.